More than brilliant. More than a big idea. More than a passion. More than meets the eye. That's what the website says. So LCTV is going to the pub with the team from Nulty Plus to find out if it's true. Let's go. Because I always say it, let's go. My name is Daniel, I'm creative director of Nulty and I'm drinking a white wine. Very creative. <laughs> Uh, I'm Paul Nolte, um MD, I guess, of the Nolte, and I'm drinking an ice cold beer. I'm Claire Hamill of Nolte. <laughs> and you can look at this camera. And I'm drinking a craft deal. Excellent. So just to start off, on your website, there's this phrase, and it says, you know those cliched top photos of a group of co-workers looking like they're having the world's best time as they gather around a flip chart, our meetings are genuinely like that. Is it true? Does it say that on the website? <laughs> I'd say they, they sort of they tend to start off like that and then they descend quite quickly into you know, personalities and, uh, you know, and, and interesting colourful characters. So it's taken you a very short time to get from being plain old Paul multi lighting design to Nunty Plus. What's the secret? of your quick expansion? Uh, technically it's Nulty Mall, according to our, our branding agency, isn't it? The plus is the plus stands for more. Okay. There you go. Uh, uh, it's none of us know that. No, it's it's a silent plus. plus. Everybody knows that. So well spent money on branding there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Nulty. Yeah, Nulty. Um, yeah. Okay, well I suppose uh, being on brand, uh, our Secret to our success is all about the plus because it is about a team. Ultimately, it's such a cliche, right? It is a cliche. Yeah. But um, we employ amazing people. We work bloody hard at what we do. Um, and uh, what else can I say? Yeah, it's just you know, good characters. You know, I mean, actually, I think the team are full of characters. There are no wallflowers, as I find out every single day because I basically get bullied. I think. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I feel it, feel it. Um, so the success, yeah, people. And being people. Yeah. Yeah. Our next yeah. question was, can you explain what the plus means? There you go, people. But it means... It it's doesn't, about, it isn't a plus. It isn't a plus, it's a more. And actually, it's true, because we used to be, as you right, correctly pointed out, plain old Paul Nolte lighting design. It was about me and my, you know, a lot of people thought it was about my ego, as we all know I don't have much of an ego. We know that, Bob. Um, but it was, and there's a little, you know, if you, if you watch the video on the website, you'd know this because we say it in the video on the website, but, that actually the rebrand was all about the coming of age of the team and me sort of taking a bit of a step backwards and it being about these amazing people that I've got around me, if I'm honest with you. And I think the, the first rule in business is to understand what you're not very good at yeah. and put people around you who are a lot better uh, than you at it. So hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be the worst person in the practice at everything. <laughs> How long will that take, guys? Not long. <laughs> <laughs> so I've anticipated that. Yeah. So you've, you've just you yeah, opened. I was say, that's been <laughs> gone, it's gone. You you've opened an office in Dubai. Yep. Is that right? And so, any more expansion plans? Any other countries that you're going to conquer? Um, I suppose I have to answer that, really, don't I? Um, yeah. Sorry. Well, uh, yes. <clears throat> The truth All is, of them. every, every, every yeah. Yeah. there's a whole side of the moon. <laughs> yes. uh, so. uh, to me, again, right, the, the real truth is, we could have opened that office in, you know, Abu Dhabi. It could have been in Doha. It could have been anywhere. It's about finding the right people with the right mentality and the right personality for for us. So if we found somebody that had the right connections and the right personality in deepest, darkest Mongolia, we'd open an office there. Where, so if we find the right person in San Francisco or Canada or America or India, wherever it is, then we would, we would open it. And we were lucky enough to find Mark, who heads the office in Dubai. Uh, he was the right person, the right place at the right time for us. I know, again, cliches, but it's very true. And uh, very loud, most, most loud. So for me, it was about finding the right people and then, find, then putting the right people around Mark to, to enable that office to grow. And it's, I think as a practice, that's what we're about, right? People buy from people, people want to work with people, people want relationships with people. That's what good design is. And so the Nolte Plus, the Nolte More gives you... Well, it allows more, more. We're going to be doing a lot more with yeah. it over the next sort of uh, 
year, two years, there's, there's more coming. <laughs> okay. So let's ask someone else. Let's ask Claire. Um, what would you say kind of makes up the bulk of your portfolio as a company? Yeah. The kind of projects? I think we do quite a wide range of different projects. I don't think we have boxed ourselves into any sort of specific um, type of projects. I think our portfolio is growing and growing as we get older and we were just having a conversation on the way around here that we're about to reach Project 500 on our fifth birthday which is really, really exciting and in that 500 projects there's a really yeah. wide diverse range yeah. of projects which is really exciting and we've got you know, different teams within the practice that are um, specialising in different things and we've got so many great designers that all have specialities and come from different backgrounds that I think as a team that, that we're quite a diverse practice that we you know we can take on a lot of work and we've all got so much of great skill set that we're, that makes us quite a diverse practice. Where we do have some sort of like uh, other avenues to explore, other avenues to expand upon we're looking at other opportunities like the Dubai office which gives us scope to have yeah. a new offering which is larger master plans and more external sort of facade opportunities that don't happen so much or so often in the UK so yeah. areas of which our portfolio that we do feel that we haven't quite as much of a, as a composite background and we're just looking to fill those in to other places. In the so if you didn't have Project 500 lined up already which I'm sure you do what would be your fantasy project? Dan, go on answer that one um, I think my fantasy project would be really anything where it's almost where you you kind of got a freedom of movement and conviction to kind of do something completely fresh and radical without any sort of inhibitions or to really meet have to meet any sort of criteria or regulation um, I think no some budget. of the best I have one of those here <laughs> I think some of the most you know sensational schemes you see even on the residential uh, sort of scale or, or scope are some of the theatrical ones where you see spaces that are lit in a completely unique way but it's very tailored to a certain style uh, I think you have to design to a budget or to um, uh, a flexibility sometimes that doesn't give you that cr that sort of level of prescribed, defined, this is how it is and that's yeah. just how it, you're going to have it because that's the best way it could look. I think that sort of freedom of, of opportunity in anything, commercial, residential, retail, I think that that's, that's that would be a dream project. So. Um, just a, you know, here's a blank canvas and, and do what you want sort of thing is the ultimate. Anybody else got a fantasy project they want to share? You, you keep, well, keep, keep, keep it clean, yeah, not You've got to be careful because we did this around the office yeah, years have, ago. Yeah. And Phil said, I really wish I could do a London Underground stage. Yeah. And suddenly you got 200 of them. So yeah. <laughs> it was literally the week after. Yeah. Slightly spooky. Well, I can say, I would love to do a bridge, if I'm honest with you. Never done a bridge. Um, 21 London bridges? 21, 21 London bridges, well there is that. <laughs> I, uh, and if I could pick any bridge, it would be something like uh, Elizabeth Kingdom Brunel Bridge. So, uh, I just it's a personal thing. I, Brunel's yeah. a, a hero of mine. Mm. Yeah, I, think, I think the great thing about working in practice is that we, you know, we, we don't know what project's gonna come in through the door next, and we've had such a diverse range of projects coming in. And I think as we reach 500, it's quite exciting. What will that fifth 500 project yeah. be? Yeah. And I think we're doing quite good projects as yeah. well. So it's not like there's, I don't feel like I have the need to. Think <coughs> it. It's just we, we had to work on quite exciting projects. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. We, we've covered everything from a kind of 300 square foot kitchen extension to, you know, we've just done the design Pools. for the, yeah, mine. <laughs> uh, uh, the design I hope it's new, good. <laughs> the design for the, this, this is it. Um, no, um, we've just done the design for the new Piccadilly line tube train, you know, yeah. which we're working on and we're mocking up at the moment. And in between yeah. that, there's hotels, there's, you know, high-end retail, there's low-end retail, there's big residential, small residential, there's um, a bit of hospital work, there's a bit of educational work. So we, I think we've been very lucky, but it's, that's how you make your luck, because it has been very deliberate that we've targeted lots of different sectors and lots of different people working in the sectors because I always worry if you put all your eggs in one basket you know it's very easy to become very busy but equally very easy for that to change overnight yeah. economically and then and you don't then have that throughput of work so um, it is a business decision we made to diversify it also keeps people very interested because they're working on a, a retail project that might be done and dusted in four weeks but they might be working on a big project that might be still going in four, five, six, seven years time. And I think it's nice when people mix that up as well. It keeps, it keeps every day fresh.
Um, so I suppose that kind of leads on. Is is there a famous project you wish you'd done? Like a project, a lighting project out there. You go like, oh damn! If only I, you know, come up with. That I like stuff in that kind of vein of, of Brunel. I, I, you know, I think like the Comedy Centre or something like that. Like yeah. a, an iconic building that's got a very clear narrative, and that you really have the opportunity to, you know tailor something or a solution or an offering that really contributes towards the lang language of that building and the identity I think that sort of that that is one of my that would be in one of my dream projects like that. anyway so give us one indispensable quality that you think a lighting designer should have we're going to go around the around the chair on this one start me down <laughs> <laughs> um, I think flexibility or like diversity you know like you kind of need to be a well-rounded learner design you need to be you know uh, a sort of almost like a jack of all trades in many ways because it's not just the capacity to come up with a good idea and come up with uh, a fantastic you know, concept or piece of artwork you need to know about the physics of light and how it can be applied and you know how to actually implement it to make sure your concept yeah. has legs at the start so you kind of you need to have that depth and breadth and I think that's something that uh, is it, it you know it it's hard to find, uh, and but it, it's something that can definitely be you know embraced and enhanced. So, and we look at we're very in, in the office we're very good at uh, being quite an open platform for sharing knowledge, and it's not sort of uh, it's not very possessive when it comes down to sort of having a, a skill set and experience. So, um, when it comes to people developing and learning, you know, part of our success and our growth has been that a lot of the people that we work with they're encouraged to grow. Um, and as such, it does make a very strong team, and, and does make it so that it's a, it's a, a good environment to work with for, for all, all levels. So, yeah. um, I think we're also quite easy to work with. Yeah, uh, we're designers who are quite keen to make sure that we're not rigid and we're yeah. Not so that goes with the flexibility yeah. thing, yeah. really. You want to We're not causing going. restraint. We're trying to work with the team to make sure that the design is the ultimate goal yeah. to make that as good as possible. Um, and we're just looking at standards. And yeah. So obviously you're going to get this quoted back to you in every yeah, time you yeah, interview exactly. somebody. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm really flexible. That's yeah, my strong like, oh, yeah. well, yeah. Have you got it. one that somebody's going to? I hate it in interviews yeah. when you say to somebody, you know, tell me what your favourite project is. You see, they always give you one of yours. You know, just, just, <laughs> so you, and I'll say you're not allowed to tell us one of our projects, but what projects have inspired you or yeah. would you like to have done? You don't want to hear the usual cliches. Do you? <laughs> um, anyone else? Indispensable policy. I teamwork. Think, yeah, yeah, teamwork. Yeah. You need to be a, mm. a people person. A team player. Yeah. 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 And a yeah. team. I mean, people want to work with people. They don't just want to work with their skill set. Yeah. There's yeah. lots of amazing designers out there, but I think people buy into people, and I think we have a great team with people that are quite serious, people that are quite fun, people that are quite artistic, and I think that you know, group collective of personalities is what's really important and yeah. makes not just a great team but also the individual if you're able to bring out your own personality in your work then that really um, creates a sort of better environment for everyone. Yeah, it also makes it interesting within the team mm. to work in our office. Yeah. It's See, not just what we bring to a design team, it's also what we have. Yeah. Work, working with other creatives too, I mean, that, uh, for me, that's the most exciting part of my job is that we get, we're quite lucky in the sense that an architect or an interior designer are limited to their team. As a lighting designer, you get to visit so many different practices and work with so many incredible designers, and you're constantly inspired by what they're doing and their ethos. Mm -hmm. And I think if you can blend that with your own ethos, then that, that makes for an exciting project, but also an exciting team. And I think people inspire people, and yes. that's definitely a skill that's really important. Yeah. I think, um, for me, I mean, the one quality I look for in, in people when I interview is charisma, actually, because I think it kind of, it's part of all of that, you know, and I think you can be the best lighting designer in the world, but if you can't get on with people, you're never going to get your design delivered properly yeah. to, to, to the standard that you want it to deliver. So I think it's partly you know selling your concepts, it's partly selling yourself, partly selling your practice. And then when things go wrong, it's about getting, you know, because never things do go wrong in life, you know, getting on with people and, and, and making sure that people pull together with you to, to deliver whatever you want to deliver. And, and you know, that's, that's a real skill set. So whenever we interview, we always I'm say it's 50% technical skill yeah. and 50% personality actually. Yeah. Are, are you the right personality? And we've turned down some incredibly talented designers because we just didn't feel they were the right fit, fit for the team. And that ties quite well in with that whole thing you said at the start about you know people, we don't have any wallflowers. You know, it's one thing to, be, to not be a wallflower, but you can meet a lot of wallflowers that 
aren't you know sort of do that in isolation and, and don't sort of aren't open to respond well to to other people to the team and and it's important that these characters or you know anyone that we work with is is open to that level of communication and sharing you know that kind of thing. so support it I know they are good. Uh, well, well drilled. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like, it's it's like a charismatic team of flexible individuals. There you go. Yeah, we've, all, we've all got <laughs> little earpieces in. We've got a quick fire round. Okay. So the next yeah. question, so we'll just do, and you've got to like do a one-word answer, and we'll go round oh, really yeah. quickly. Um, yeah. Yeah, go on. Like, one one word. Word. Yeah. We've never oh, really done this before. Otherwise, we might have to buy another round. Wow. All right, okay. Um, favorite luminaire ever? Well, I just like light, so I think one of my just a fluorescent oh. tube or something like that. I quite okay. like, yeah. All right. And I think as, as a pendant, I think an artichoke. Really Someone awesome. was going to say that. Yeah. Good answer. Uh, I have two. Yeah. One or two. One or two. No, I just want. I have the Foscarini uh, Lumiere, which is a little table light <laughs> with three little legs. Um, and actually, a cove and suddenly music's come on. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly the audio got even there. worse than it was before. <laughs> we can ask them to turn it down. Um, uh, a cove, just a cove. That was a what simple, I meant with my fluorescent. A simple cove. <laughs> you stir it in, oh. built on it. <laughs> okay, so I think fairy lights. Fairy lights are wonderful. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I use them all the time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> And um, yeah, a candle. You have to have a candle. Uh, Everyone has to have a candle. The quick fire, fire ones are best. You know, yeah. it, it's definitely the best. <laughs> They're not that quick. Though. They're not. No. Sorry, sorry. Quick. I oh, know I've got this really right. difficult. I asked, I asked Sharon this one earlier, and she couldn't think of an answer. I did. But I forgot the word. But, yeah. <laughs> What's that word? The, the, the. This is inspired by Charles Stone. This yeah, who's, who does a presentation called Coruscant, which okay. is his favourite lighting word. So, for Charles Stone's benefit, everybody has to Google that. And I've forgotten it. What's your favourite yeah. lighting word? And mine is flux. I just like Ooh. the way it sounds. Yeah. I said to you, screw it. Which is like well, a fancy word. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have Paul, because we like these, these are going well. What words or phrases does Paul overuse? trying to censor myself. No, don't, don't. No. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. <laughs> With us, individually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, Maybe yeah. in a presentation. Oh, yeah, he's saying that word again. <laughs> this is over... No, I, you know... This is, <laughs> I, I, I didn't even know what you were going to say. No, I don't. What do you mean you're going to say? I think you were say convivial. Um, no, I won't. No, actually, one that really gets me is unsubscribe. <laughs> unsubscribe, yeah. When you're like, cease it into an email, and you're like... You don't see you know, email chain, you're just like unsubscribe, it's like that. Just, <laughs> just can't you get internal emails going back and forth, and suddenly you've got an, an inbox full of 30 don't emails. Don't defend yourself. I'm not defending Unsubscribe, guys. <laughs> take me the fuck off take of this. Take me off. I would rather take me the fuck off of this than just unsubscribe. It's like, I want to send out with an attachment. <laughs> you've got to wait to download. Probably more than one word. Worst mistake you've made on a job. I can share that one. Can you share it? No. Okay, right. <laughs> what did you do? What did you, do I know about this? Is that no. you can share this one? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's it, it wasn't really a mistake. It didn't go all the way, obviously. Uh, but we had, we thought some access hatches were columns. So we highlighted them with. We put four uh, down lights around the access <laughs> <laughs> columns. <laughs> And then when we're in a meeting presenting it, the other MEP guys were kind of like, not the MEP guys, but the other interior designers were like, kind of went to the MEP guys, do we need quite so many actors hatches? And then we looked at it and we're like, that we've all lit up. <laughs> okay, so last question. What makes you happiest about light? You can have a one word answer for this one, so quick fire. Really miserable. <laughs> yeah. Changing people's lives. Ooh. Bring in the dream. Whose life are you changing? Well, everyone, just affecting people on a daily basis. Kind of I think it's the emotion. The emotion. The emotion. Yeah. The emotional. The emotional response. The, I think, yeah. yeah, but just the—it's emotional to be a designer. It's emotional to be in a space. Yeah. People, you know, they don't just see it, they feel it, and I think that's really cool. I think collaborating. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Uh, deleting. No. <laughs> you know what it's like with the whole thing. You know, you've got, you, it's in the wrong place. You think it's somewhere else, and you drag it to clean it away, and then it's out. Yeah. Oh, uh, so. Uh, teaching, uh, I think that's the best thing I like about it. I like the, I like the, I like working out. I like uh, understanding people and working out what does, what they do and don't respond to, and tailoring teaching to, to that. I, that's the part of it I get the biggest kick out of. Good answer. And we need to finish by getting Paul to do this special wink at the camera, just for us. Oh, can I can set my glasses off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you want another drink? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll get them. I'll get them. Oh, okay. I know that was really good. I like the way that we finished another day. Yeah, now they go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.